happy um, Activity Professionals Week. You, all of you are really important people, and we are so glad that we could be here today. Um, my name is Cindy Bella Rose. I uh, am here in Columbus, Ohio. I uh, started working with Activity Connection um, in 2011 as a freelance artist, and now I'm the director of Arts and Crafts. Um, I have I used to be an art teacher, so I feel like that has given me a lot of insight to be able to come up with craft and art projects for our seniors. Um, it's been uh, a wonderful trip working with AC uh, Activity Connection. Um, anyways, I uh, am looking forward to doing some crafts with you today, and I hope all of you got your craft supplies and you can join us. Um, don't look at that, Erin's ready. So originally it was going to be up myself and Carrie, uh, but Carrie had a family emergency. So less than 24 hours ago, Erin was asked to join us. So Erin is here today and Erin, take it away. Let everyone know who you are. Thank you, Cindy. Um, so my name is Erin Clark. I'm a creative coordinator at Activity Connection. Uh, like Cindy, I started um, actually eight years ago as a freelance uh, writer for Activity Connection. Then three years ago, I was hired full time. And before that, I had a job working in a, con a continuing care retirement community, just like many of you. Uh, I worked in the field for a little under a decade. Um, but that experience has informed obviously everything I create for Activity Connection and also informs how passionate I am, which is why, though Carrie has practiced this <laughs> many times over, I'm sure I'm going to try and be concise when we get to our tour because I could talk about some of our stuff for hours, um, but I'm going to make it in 15 minutes, so it's going to be good. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted, of course, make sure to shout out to everybody and say happy Activity Professionals Week. Um, obviously, you know how much care and effort, blood, sweat, tears, love, budgeting, coordination, and uh, working on the fly when you're asked to do something in the last 24 hours, uh, you might have <laughs> happened to you too. So I think uh, this is just uh, keeping my, my activity skills honed right now. Um, but before I forget, I think actually, they call that flying by the seat of your pants. Yeah, I mean, that's what an activity it's, professional does sometimes. It's a skill. You know, you get, throwing a curveball and you have to have to make it work. So um, I feel like that's perfect for this week. Uh, and so also I wanna make sure to remember to tell you all that we are having a promotion. Um, and I think that it was mentioned a little bit, but uh, we have select digital downloads uh, are available to you 50% off um, this week only up until tomorrow. So may, remember the activity code, pro promotional code activity, 50, that's activity 50, and you can get 50% off bingo cards, puzzle packs, slideshows, uh, drama skits, I think are in there, so much more. Just head over to our marketplace and you'll see lots of things are available. Um, just putting that in that code. And uh, that's a little gift from us as well. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's activity, nice add activity connection. So. Yeah. All right, well, then, are we ready for the first craft? I think so. <laughs> Um, so our very, very first craft is going to be our ping pong tea lights. Um, they are very easy to do. There's a lot of different ways you can adapt them. So we're going to plunge right in. I want to make sure everyone has their supplies. Uh, we need a ping pong ball. All right. We also need a tea light, a LED tea light. We are going to need, I, I am using bingo daubers. Um, I've selected three colors. Erin is going to use markers. Um, you know, like we said, she was notified less than 24 hours ago that she was <laughs> going to be doing this. So, <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, markers, you know what? It works. That's what I love about this craft. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and this is very important, a pencil. Gotta have a pencil. This pencil is actually a tool. We're not going to use it like a pencil. We're going to use it as a tool. So uh, the very first thing we're going to do is grab our ping pong ball. And sometimes they have writing on them. Um, we want the writing to be, this is a globe. It's going to be a globe for a tea light. So we want our globe to be like this. So the writing's on the bottom. Um, in our uh, craft tutorial, which I believe all of you are going to receive, 
um, we, we say punch a, um, a pencil through through this. Now, I'm gonna say, this is easy to do. You can do it with a pencil without any help. I would not have your seniors just poking it in. If you're gonna have your seniors do it, use an X-Acto knife before the activity and just cut a little, little crisscross slit, okay? And then this goes in. And now look, we have a handle to hold this and it has also poked a hole into the ping pong ball that just happens to be the exact perfect diameter as a fake flame on an LED cam tea light. Uh, so now we have our handle. Now it's time to add color. So Erin's gonna be using markers. She's also invented another way to do this in less than 24 hours. She figured out <laughs> something kind of cool to do. Um, in our tutorial, we suggest using bingo daubers and splashing the ink into a disposable plate and then rolling your ping pong ball in the different colors. And that works great if you're, especially if you're in a group because everyone, you can have a couple people sharing the bowl of color in your disposable plate. But for today's purposes, we're keeping it simple. We're just- It's also great, out. Cindy. It's also great for people who may not have such great hand-eye coordination or their hand oh, yeah. dexterity is not quite what, you mm -hmm. know, some other people's might be. So that makes it really easy. And it's a kind of, uh, what do I say? Friend, uh, failure free kind of program when you do it, it that way is. as well. Because, you know, anybody can just wave it right into the bowl. Exactly. So um, that's what I, I like doing when I'm coming up with these different crafts is making sure that there's uh, a flexibility. You know, you can swap out supplies if you need to you can make adjustments for different skill levels. Um, so I think what Erin is doing is she's doing a special technique where it's like a masking technique and yes. she's applying little stickers and then she's coloring around all those stickers. And then when she reviews, pulls off those stickers, it's gonna be kind of cool. I think they're stars, right? Yes, they're so stars. This is another way to kind of add kind of a different decoration, you know, if, if, and they if this would work really, really well, again, for the bingo daubers, if you don't want to do the dipping part, um, you put, they can put stickers on themselves, or you can put stickers on, they daub, and then you just peel the stickers off, and it's a masking technique. Here, I'll show you, I'll pull off one of the stickers that I've done already. It's not always perfect, but it really does kind of fit the bill, and then if you do it with a darker color, then that's the only spot that the light will really shine through, which is kind of a fun effect. So I just added, uh, let's see, I did orange, red, and some blue dots. I wanna uh, point out that when you're using these daubers and if you layer a lot of color, the tip is gonna get like brown, like all of your bingo daubers was gonna, it's gonna look like brown, like not the prettiest brown. Um, what's really cool is I just recently discovered that you can buy replacement sponges for your bingo daubers and it comes with a little tool so you can pop the old sponge out and put a new one in. That's which is, wonderful. It is, you know, because if all of these were brown and I had almost a full thing of ink in here, what a waste to have to toss it. So yeah. there's a budget, there, there's something for tight budgets. It's worth the investment of just replacing those sponge tips. Yeah. All right. So this is this is drying. Um, you know, I also wanted to point out that you can also get these um, markers and bingo daubers. I'm sure you all know they come in scents. So like a scented marker would make this more of a you know multi sensory kind of project. Um, you know, yeah, music. I mean, you could add music that's all about light, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, this little light of mine. What was the other one? Yeah, oh, a uh, uh, candle in the wind. There we go. <laughs> you know, so we're using a candle. Yeah, there's. I you actually, light up my life. I mean. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yeah. If you Google uh, so, um, songs with the word lights in it, I think I came up with like 160 different songs. So you put together a Spotify. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So I after mean, you dry. Yeah, I made a few last night as well. So you got one. See, Valentine's is coming. Uh, I, I feel like this one ended up uh, being more um, 
like for Fourth of July, if you wanted to Perfect. do these Fourth of July. Or 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 use uh, maple leaf stickers for Canada Day. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. So you you know after it's all dry, you just stick it onto your onto your tea light. Did we uh, tell them to make sure you take that little plastic tab off of the bottom? Make oh, sure I don't do know, that. but I have an example here. See, so make sure. Yeah, you yeah, you got to do that. So that it it turns on for you. You can't see this little it. box. So I'll it's show this one here. Ah. I love that. Um, I know. And so I okay, Erin, I gotta show you because I did a few extras too. Like Erin, she did some thinking of other holidays. I went really simple on this one using colored, they come with the ping pong balls come in colors. So you could do a very, very simple project for um you know, for people that that maybe just it, doing the coloring is just a little too much, just make the hole, put it onto a tea light, and it's still really cute. But I did that with. Oh wait, I didn't turn them on. <laughs> I have a little jack o' lantern. I just used I this orange them. one, and I used the black marker. Isn't that cute? I feel and like I imagine him like if you put him on different tiered levels, like you put up little, you could make a whole centerpiece with these guys, you know, for you different totally holidays, could. for different mm -hmm. things. I love it. Okay, okay. Well, well, listen to this. Look, <laughs> you could do a group project. You can have the community make their own little balls, and you can have they fit perfectly. Cindy, you're constantly adding. I love that. I love yeah. that. You know, that would be great. Also, we were mentioning sensory things, you know, and bringing in and smells and different music. But that actually reminds me, we used to do, uh, we had a sensory cart with the fiber optics. And what's great about that one, uh, I just realized you could take your Christmas lights that twinkle and that would kind of give another like uh, fun effect. That would be great. For just, yeah, I love that. So. I really do love that. Yeah, so I think all of these, you know, I think too, you could even ask, you know, engage everyone while they're making these, ask them questions, you know, like this could be used as a nightlight. It's questions like, did you use a nightlight when you were younger? You know, were you afraid yeah. of the dark? Do you, are you still, do you still like to have a light on a little light? I know I do. I like a little light on, you know, like at night. So anyway, it would be um, a cute way to encourage people. Like when people are new, you know, they're always, people are always saying, oh, what can I do to encourage people to come out? You know, it. and like, if they're new and welcome people, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what would be a good um, like phrase that would be with light to encourage you know to welcome? Let people? your light shine at our, there at our new community. Yeah, you, know, you put a little oh, tag yeah. on it. You could use them. You could hand them out as like part of an invitation to like you know a gathering to get to know people and be like, hey, we're getting together for some light refreshments. Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> I mean, I'm always about the pun. I feel like. Oh, of, we've had a lot of good uh, comments in here. I just wanted to share one too. Somebody mentioned there's larger ping pong balls that you can use that can work with people that have dexterity issues. And um, I thought that was really cool. And I'm going to turn my camera on because I want everybody to see what a non artist looks like because I couldn't find any pencils. So I did a screwdriver. That's what I found. So hey, I found again, working on the fly. Again, if that's not activity professionals figuring it out. You know, right? So there you go. <laughs> I will say, because I'm not very good, but this is like magic marker, like Crayola marker, and it does stain your hands. But mm -hmm. this is the permanent marker, what I had, and it does better. So you do want to watch your mediums as well, too. I thought that was interesting to think I'm about. So glad, I'm so glad you said that, Elisa, because I found that the Sharpie markers dry really fast on the ping pong balls, so I wasn't getting as messy. But when I was doing this last night, and I was like, oh, I'll add yellow, and I found a highlighter, I was covered in yellow. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I used my flashlight, I used my ping pong ball, so I was extra creative here. I don't, I should get real kudos for the screwdriver since I couldn't find a real pencil, man. I'm Absolutely. telling you. That's kudos Love right that. there. Yeah. That. yeah. You know, and that's what we're I'm embodying about. the creative activity activity professional spirit right now today. <laughs> it is, you know, it's inventive, and you know, I have not been an activity director or professional, but I did teach kindergarten through eighth grade, and I, after hearing stories, I think there's a lot of similarities. You know, <laughs> like you got to improvise, you got to be yeah. fast, you got to make sure supplies are safe. You have to, yeah. you know, there's a lot that's. Kind of common, common area. 
So uh, I think that's anything, any other questions, Lisa? I think yeah. you covered a lot of like maybe the what ifs. Any questions out there so, that we can answer? Some people are asking, you know, if you just punch a hole in the bottom of the ping pong ball, can you just add it straight to the tea light and have them paint on the tea light? What are your thoughts on that one? That was a question somebody asked. You know what? I think depending on what you're using, I think you could. Now, the only thing is you're not going to get the little areas. It's going to be hard. You're going to have like a white edge going around unless. Yeah, it's harder to get. So just for reference, so you can see, it's harder to get that edge. So if you want to kind of get all the way to the bottom, this is this is much easier to get all in the crevices so that you. But if it's easier, you know what you could do is let's say you do want to do that. Just avoid the pencil thing. What I would do is I would take, I would just pre make a, a hole first. I would just kind of color that bottom part Perfect. and then put it on and then give it to, to the participants to color the, the rest of it. That's how mm -hmm. I would probably approach that. Yeah, and I think watching you guys do that, it looked like it was super easy to punch the pencil right through the hole of the ping pong, which is a little bit of pressure, right? <laughs> it seemed like it was it is, super easy. It is, you know, it is easy, but like I said, I would probably pre-start a little slit with my X-Acto knife if I had a bunch of seniors, a large group. It's just safer, you know, yeah. but you can, you know, for, for people with a little higher skill level, you could definitely, with some caution, just poke the pencil through too. So, yeah, but that would be something gauging on on the skill level you're you're working with, right? Awesome. And can you just hold up the the light when the, the light fixture one you did real quick, the string of lights? Because I think everybody. Oh, yeah, I know. See it one more time. <laughs> I love that as a community project. I can imagine it being used for like grandparents day. You have the grandkids come out, you have them do some, everybody yeah. does a bunch, staff, and then you put them all on a string light and like celebrate everyone. It's a great, you know, it's bring so it out cool. holidays. Even if it's somebody's name, you know, you yeah. can write a name or, or maybe it's like, I was even thinking Aaron, like for a religion, um, like a spiritual activity. You yeah. know, you could you could have these and have scripture about like a light, the candle. There's so much. Yeah, know. there's so many biblical passages about light there. And again, we said, what was it? Uh, this little light of mine is obviously. I think there's also yeah. a a light song from God's Bill I was thinking of earlier. Um, but yeah, um, let yeah. your light shine. Right. I just, I yeah, I think there's let a God's Let the light shine in. Let yeah. the light shine in. That's the one you're thinking of. <laughs> yes, there's so yeah. many good ones. There's so many good ones. You can definitely make it a spiritual program easily, easily. Um, and I think that it's, you know, it's really rewarding to see it all together like that on the string lights. So I think so too. I, I you know, I, I'm a big fan of community art projects. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, as an artist, I, I've always enjoyed that. And I think it's a nice way of bringing a community together, you know? Absolutely. Um, uh, well, somebody I mentioned, think... there's just a couple comments, sorry. She okay. says, I'm I'm a chaplain and I will totally do this for our yearly memorial service for our residents who have passed. Oh, I, I love that. And you could write their names on it, you know? I love that. I love that. Somebody else I said they're that. not still, they're going to use this as a sun sphere. Oh, that's a cool mm -hmm. idea. I would like oh, to see yeah. that. Kim, you're going to have to share that on social media sometime. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think love there's that. also we were thinking maybe you could even somehow incorporate it into like the Chinese New Year, like making lan you know, that those are lanterns, but like you could make oh, these yeah. and kind of put them up and I celebrate that way too. I love that. Well, um I'm so look how fast that was. I know <laughs> such an easy, easy craft, but so many different ways you can use it. And yeah, I think it's I think it's a really fun one. Um Elisa, are you okay if we switch uh, over, yeah. take a little intermission from crafting? We have a second craft, but yeah, um, I need, I have a little mess here to clean up. Erin's yeah. gonna share her screen and we wanna give a quick tour of our activity connection site because we have a few new things we wanna show off, a few other pages we wanna show some love to. So yeah. I'll let you guys take it away. Awesome. Um, so here we go. And like I said, I'm going to try my very best to be super concise today. Um, I could talk for hours about these things, but um, 
there's so many really exciting things going on at Activity Connection right now. Um, we've got Illuminating Hearts, which is actually something we're partnering with our wonderful host, NAP, uh, to create this project that celebrates you. Um, it's celebrating senior living activity professionals and trying to collect your stories about all the things that you do to make people's lives better um, and the different things that you're doing to inspire others and just changing lives, which is what you do every single day. So we want to get those stories out there and together. And I feel like this is a great way to do that. Um, you can see here, there's just, we want, you know, it doesn't have, it can be a longer story, a shorter story. We just want to hear from you. We want to share what you're doing to enrich lives. So that is one thing we're doing. And on our page, you can see this is the Activity Connection website. If you scroll down on the side, it's under bulletins. You'll see Illuminating Hearts. And Cindy, didn't you say this was actually one of the reasons that oh, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this, this uh, inspired the two crafts we're doing today because we're illuminating, you know, the love. Yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, the candles. It's all about illuminating. And I mean, what a great word, illuminating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, if you, this is also, you can also find it on our January under extras. We have professional pride page under extras on Activity Connection for, of course, the wonderful uh, week that we're celebrating this week and Illuminating Hearts is also found on that page. So, you know, but um, Illuminating Hearts will be at the bottom of the page going forward. So even when January content leaves the site, you'll still see Illuminating Hearts there as long as we're doing the program. So, yeah. Uh, next up, we have another fun thing that we put up for Activity Professionals Week. Um, just to celebrate, again, you guys, your staff, we have these photo props uh, that Cindy, Again, Cindy is a rock star at Activity Connection. She made these. Um, don't mess with bingo. I love my job. These are great also at conferences. We find so many people, we put them out at oh, conferences yeah. and take pictures. Mm -hmm. We love seeing people um, engaging with this kind of stuff. So Everyone loves the wear of many hats. I love that one. Yeah. I think these, you know, they just really embody some of the things, you know, that you do every single day to make people's yeah. lives better and just kind of take take credit for a minute. So we encourage you to cut these out and take pictures with your yourself, your staff, and if you're willing and want to share it with us, we'd love to see it. Uh, so you can definitely send those images in to us if you're willing to let us put it up on Facebook page to show you off. Um, we'd love to do that too. So yes. that's, again, under the extras section, under professional pride, you'll find those. Uh, another really exciting new thing that we're doing is Elder Scouts. Um, I <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Again, Cindy and I actually work together on this project, but it's gonna be really fun. It's all about getting people engaged in kind of making their own activity programs, really. It's trying to get people to work together, learn new skills, choose their new activities for themselves and earn badges along the way, but really work together with their troop um, and reach new goals that they didn't necessarily think was possible. Um, so it's a lot, it's a very comprehensive program. It has lots of different options. We encourage you to ask people about what they want to do. And we have actually blank badges that they can color and draw in specifically for whatever badge they're working toward. But we also suggested six different badges, as you can see here, with different ways to make it adaptable to various um, levels. So I think that it's gonna be really fun and we're really excited about it. And there's different ways to display the badges. You can see the Elder Scouts badge book we put together here, which is also part of the PDF, but there's a way to hang it. So you can put it out almost as a stash, just like, you know, in Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. There, um, and we're gonna have more. Uh, so every quarter this year, we're going to be putting out six more badges that we make just like these so you can add more. But again, this is really adaptable to make it as person-centered as you want it to be. So they can make their own badges. You can make photocopies of the badge they design and everybody works towards that badge. There's lots of ways to use this to make it, you know, as, as person-centered as your program and, and you and you want to make it. Sorry, I go love, ahead. I love that it it's, uh, you know, it, it's geared towards men or women, you know, like it yeah. can go, it could be, you know, no, I think a lot very of people open. were scouts. I was a scout all the way through college. And, you know, I think they're going to be able to think back to their scouting days. I just, I love 
this particular yeah. program. No, it's super adaptable. And I think, yeah, it's mm -hmm. really, it's really in, all encompassing. There's nobody who can't be a scout again. So yeah. I think that's going to be really fun. Another great one that we have um, is the activity punch cards. Um, this is a great way to keep attendance if you want a different fun way to keep attendance, but also it gets people wanting to come out and get more punches. It's a great way also to get them to earn, for example, bingo, you see the bingo one in there. If you write bingo in there, if they win, they can like, you can get them to earn, like every time they win, they get a punch. And then at the end, they get a prize. It kind of helps you budget a little bit. If you're giving out too many prizes, you find up, I don't know about you, but I feel like I was giving out so many bingo prizes. And at a certain point, you know, your budget does get affected by that. So I feel like this kind of helps with that as well. But it really also makes people want to come back out and get more punches to get prizes or just, you know, to show what they're doing. You can also, I think, Cindy, you said, suggested using different kinds of punches, like star punches, heart punches. Oh, yeah, for different yeah. Activities. Um, exactly. Which I think is great because then you can see music oh, notes for a music program or yeah flowers exactly. for a gardening program. Yeah, it, it it gives you also like when you see their punch card. Oh, this person's coming out to more crafts. They like crafts. Let's like you know try and get them more things like that. Let's get them more music based stuff. You know, it just gives you a little bit of an idea like oh you know, and it gives you even more information, which is always good. You know, the more information you have about them, the better because then you can help craft things just for them. Uh, next up, we have the Table Talk Tidbits, which is found on our Lifelong Learning and Trivia Library pages. Uh, this is a great one you can put anywhere, um, from dining room tables to the common areas, concierge desk, anywhere people sit, may sit. A crafting a table, because there's going to be times where you're busy cleaning and you want people to talk amongst yourselves while I clean up this mess. Exactly, exactly. And they, they all there's four a month that we put out so you can put a new one out each week. And then we they always include uh, short game, short word games, quizzes, humor, a discussion prompt and trivia. And it's just a really great way to keep people talking. Um, so I really highly recommend these and they're super cute and fun to work with. So um, check those out again on our lifelong learning page and or our trivia page library and, and you know i will also say Go all ahead. of those pdfs right they gotta down just download them if you don't think you're going to use them this month but you can use them next month download that pdf exactly i you know i was just about to say like save yes. all of our stuff i know like mm -hmm. they were like oh you know you're a subscription service but we put fresh out stuff out for you all the time we're we're ready to give you fresh content all every every single month but save our stuff so that you have a library for yourself for years to come. If you're going to be in this field for, you know, decades, having think about all the things you could collect. If you're collecting these for a month, in a few years, you're going to have things that you could put these out almost daily, you know? So I feel like all of our PDFs are worth saving on a tablet, hard drive. Keep them with you. And then you're going to, you'll always have something, God forbid, Look at how things happen. You you don't have a pencil. You use a screwdriver. You'll have that stuff to save like in perpetuity, and you'll have a library of things so that you can like change up the program if you need to at, at last minute. It's always good to have a little extra something in your back pocket. Always. You never know, right? You gotta have be prepared for anything. You gotta be prepared for everything and anything. Mm -hmm. Um, next up, we have the AC videos page. I don't know if everybody's seen these, but we are adding to this monthly now with the travelogue video and the easy short story video. I love our activity professional activity connection videos are great because we've all been to YouTube. Some people, I mean, I know I'm talking fast today because I want to get everybody this information, but there's a lot to be said for people who talk in a clear, concise, manner that is just understandable for people who may have hearing impairments and different things the person who does the vocals for our our uh, videos has worked with seniors um she's great she, the person who's doing our travelogue videos she's worked with them that she's so clear and concise and i just feel like that's great and then you also don't have to worry about commercials interruptions and things like that and we leave our travelogue videos and all of those things up all the time. It's not one of those things that goes away after five months. You can access them at all times. So you can find oh, also three pages quiz. packed, yeah. jam packed, three pages. Quiz, already. I mean, you can see January, February, March, mm -hmm. November, December. I mean, there's so mm -hmm. many there, you know, and, yep. and you click through and just look through them when you get a chance because we have 
quizzes, you know, where in the world and name that instrument. There's just so many fun things to do on our mm -hmm. activity connection videos page. And again, it's all geared for seniors. You're never going to have to worry about a weird commercial or, you know, sound issues. So uh, next up, we have a little bit about the men's page. Um, sometimes it's hard to get the men to come out, you know, because they, you know, there's a lot of ladies. <laughs> um, but we wanted to make sure that you guys have access to programming that maybe gets the men to be a little more curious to come out. And this is one of the things we put up on our January men's page. It's putting the past in order, specifically about sports milestones. And you cut out the game cards. And there you'll see those right here. And it, it really starts such wonderful conversation about you know oh no i think that came first no jesse owens definitely did this before you know what i mean i think it really is going to get a lot of great conversation rolling for the men um, and they so, could watch abbott and costello who came first who came what came second <laughs> <laughs> Right? Absolutely. I, I just think, you know, it's a really great activity. And I think, you know, it doesn't just have to be for men. Obviously, there's some ladies that really love the sports as well. But it's one of those great ones that, you know, go back over the course of time, things that men, it, it gets people reminiscing about those moments in time that were really big. So uh, we also have for February, this is our men's page on the February for February, of course, we've got breakfast for the boys. I don't know if some of you or most of you probably know about the Romeos, the retired elderly men eating out uh, club that is, I think, I know it's in New Jersey. I think it's in multiple states, but breakfast for the boys, a special breakfast for men and how to organize that and make it really tailored. Um, of course, Breakfast of Champions, the Wheaties athletes with more history about how, you know, the athletes even came to be on the Wheaties box. Lots of fun things. That's actually a tie in for our February uh, theme. But I just definitely check out our men's page. You never know what you're going to find, but it's always going to be fun and interesting stuff. So uh, next we have our art in action. We have I think we have just a little bit of time, so I'm going to mention it briefly. So you can see on our art page, if you scroll down, you'll find the Activity Connections Art and Action Gallery. And people, I know a lot of people may not have realized to click on it, but look, we we love, like I said earlier, we want to see you. We want to see, we want to hear your stories, we want to celebrate your staff, and we want to see what everyone's doing. These are some of the wonderful uh, mm -hmm. submissions that we've had before. C Cindy, do you want to say a little bit about this? Because I know. Oh. I, I, words cannot express how excited I am when we get a new submission and I get to see all of this wonderful artwork. Um, but I think it's a great way to kind of shine shine a light yeah. on <laughs> some, you know, the seniors that put have an interest in art that, or maybe they don't and they had a breakthrough with with a piece. You know, it's it's really an honor I think for anyone who creates to have their piece highlighted and. Um, I believe this page is also open to the public. You can share this link and people wouldn't have to have a subscription. So yeah, I think we can that's definitely awesome share that. To send it to family and stuff. So yeah. Of course we do have to we want to make sure, obviously, we don't want anybody to submit without permission from the people that you're involving. We do have forms to make sure that everybody's got permission. Mm -hmm. But we do just want to make mention that because I mean it really is so impactful um for everybody, I think, to see what wonderful things are being made. So um, last but not least, I just do have a few little tips. Um, we, when we got our, I, I know some of you have been with us for a while and some of you are maybe new to Activity Connection, but uh, some have asked about our discuss and recall page from uh, our last website. When we switched over, we actually made our discussion recall page the lifelong learning page. And I just wanted to mention that as well as the drama skits became readers theater. Um, so if you're looking for drama skits or discuss and recall, they're still there. Nothing changed about them. We just changed the name to be more, uh, really just kind of reflect the comprehensiveness of the discussions being involved and kind of explain better what they were, what we were showing. Um, like I said, tip, my biggest tip of the day, if you take one thing away from here, save everything, save all of our PDFs because yeah, yeah. You can make so much person-centered content by mm -hmm. just saving our stuff. Say you save a bunch of things about gardening and somebody comes in and it's winter and everybody's, you know, kind of gloomy and it's winter. 
you can put out, you can give them the coloring pages with gardening stuff. You can do gardening trivia and discussions. You could do gardening puzzles. It's a great person-centered package. And if you're saving our content, you're gonna find all sorts of goodies like that that you can put together and make really just very individualized for any person that come, walks through your doors. So I highly recommend saving all of our PDFs. Please do, we encourage it. That's the best tip I have today. Um, also, unless it's my last thing, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to get through all of it. This is our crafts page for February. I love that frog. Love that frog people, if you don't know what to do for leap day, that is a really cute, fun, movable, kinetic kind of thing. So. I'll just say, check out all of our more cards. I'm just, I mean, that's all I'm gonna say. If you, yeah. if you go to our more cards on most of the, a lot of our pages have more cards. If you're looking for more crafts, this will take you to any of the crafts on the page for that month. So you can see, it'll take you to the centerpiece. It'll take you to all the Groundhog's Day, Chinese New Year, Valentine's Day. You know, it's, it's going to really help you to find all the crafts that we're offering that month. And so you don't miss anything. So click on the more cards. Don't miss them because there's so much to it find on Activity Connection. So yeah. I'm going to stop there. What is our next craft, Cindy? We have a couple of questions, though. We do have a couple okay. of questions. Oh, yes. No, please. All, I just want to remind everybody, because this was a question, that yes, you do need to have a subscription to Activity Connection to access a lot of these resources. So please check them out. Somebody made a suggestion when you were talking about your elder science project, the badges. Oh, Elder said, oh, yeah, the Elder Scouts, yeah. Elder Scouts. She said that her seniors love senior science, and so she would like to recommend you make a badge of a test tube. So maybe look at that. Ooh, I am Uncle. writing that down. We will have <laughs> yes. it for June, yes. test tube. And, yes, and then are the Elder Scouts, do you, find, do you think the program would be good for um, people that are living in assisted living or memory care? That was a question so, that came in. That's one of my favorite things about the Elder Scouts program is it is really, you can adapt it for everyone. It, like we put some suggestions in there, but obviously you know how to tailor things to everybody's levels, but it's made so that you could, if you have an assisted living or you know, you're know you working in home with really independent people, like, or I would say more um, like adult day center and have maybe a little bit of a higher, level of abilities we I definitely say have them take charge and run with it and like have them put on the concert have them make the invitations to send out to their family and friends you know encourage the higher you know the ability those with the ability to do so to take charge but then absolutely use it in memory care have them pick the music have them reminisce about music have them just you know just i'm just picking music because you know why not that's one of the things but you can have you can tailor it for anybody it's just a matter of how you do that and also it also encourages scouts to help their fellow scouts come up with other ideas of how to include them in a better way and there's actually an award called the white dove award um I won't go too far into it. I could talk about Elder Scouts for, for days, but <laughs> yeah, definitely check it out. I think you can make it available for everyone. So don't hesitate to look into that further. Yeah, yeah. And there were some recommendations for some other badges. So if you wanted to write these down, these all came into while you were chatting. Oh, good. I will, can, you know what, Elisa, could we, since we just, I wanna make sure we have time for the craft, can I write them down after, we'll, when we yep. end? I'll take the, all of those from you at the end. Yeah. Sounds good, let's go Perfect. forward. And all right okay so uh we're done with the screen share right yes please uh okay. elisa you need i think you need to unshare me <laughs> yay all right wonderful job erin um you. now we're going to move on to craft number two and this is the beaded motive um so this what we need are is uh beads like I would say a dozen to two dozen beads. Uh, today, I am just gonna be using pony beads, but you can use any kind of beads. You could use broken jewelry, the beads off of that. That's a nice way to uh, get some cheap beads. Um, and then you are also going to need a tea light, another one of these, and you are going to need wire. Um, it's suggested to have, we're suggesting 24 inches of wire. So you know you could go with, you know, this is wire that I got at um, Dollar Tree. You could do this. Today, 
I'm using, Aaron is also using pipe cleaners because they come in 12 inches. You just twist them together to make you know, roughly a 24 inch long piece of wire. Um, doing this because it's a little easier on the camera. You can see this better than a, than a piece of wire, but it works, works great. Um, if you are gonna be using wire like this, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not use scissors to cut your wire. That is one of the biggest no-nos. Um, as an art teacher, I, I cannot believe how many scissors got ruined because they were being used on material that they should not be used on. So, um, and especially do not use mom's sewing scissors. Seriously, I have sewing scissors and every time I see somebody in my house using them for something that's not for sewing, I just about lose my mind. So <laughs> don't use, it, you know, use wire cutters. And I oftentimes will call out needle nose pliers because they're kind of a two-in-one tool. You have your plier and then you have this part right in here, which is the wire cutter. So just had to tell you that. I have a thing about scissors going bad. Um, I mean, and that's, our, that's a, hey, that's a budget-friendly tip. You know, because I can't tell you how many scissors that we went through in, you know, because people used it on cardboard or, you know, various yeah, other Yeah, there's just something, yeah, some scissors aren't ready to, to work too hard. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, so now, now we need our glass votive, which I'm using a glass jar. And I am gonna geek out on we yogurt jars. I love these and Erin has one too. So let me just go over why I think these are awesome for this project. Um, tea light fits perfectly inside. And the label, this label is not like most labels on glass jars. It's more like a decal, so it rips right off without tearing. Isn't that nice? Um, and then, yeah, there is a little goo, a little stickiness. So you can always use Goo Gone to get that off. But I would not use that um, if you have seniors that are helping with us, I would not use this around seniors um, because of the fumes. Um, if you were gonna do this, use Goo Gone, do it before the activity, have your jars ready and prepped. But a nice, friendly, non-chemical, no fume approach is to use vegetable oil on a paper towel and that takes the sticky off and then clean the oil with white vinegar. And then you don't have anything that's going to harm anybody. So also, those are things you can find in your kitchen. Most people are going to have that available. Whereas exactly. Google, you might have to run out. These are things that most people can just run down to the kitchen, or you know, and they'll have yeah. more available. So and Erin, I think my favorite part about using these is it gives me a reason to go to the store and buy these and eat what's inside. <laughs> you can make this an eat and craft activity. Eat some yogurt, make a craft. You know what I thought like what if you did do the ping pong ball uh tea light in week one for a craft and you end it with a snack because I hear if you tell people there's a snack they come a running so it helps. you know and so then <laughs> but you, you just plant a little seed go thank you I'm taking the jars back and come back next week and see what we're going to do with these jars and maybe curiosity would increase the you know people coming in for the next craft just a thought I know um, and not using the uh if you don't use the goo gone you don't have to worry about the msds sheets i actually i don't think they're called msds sheets yet anymore right they're called uh just say safety data sheets that like i don't know if they yeah but the msds sheets you don't have to worry about it with uh regular the natural stuff that cindy's suggesting so another reason to do that so did i say glue dots are handy for this anyway that's another one and um, glue dots you would need like at least two glue dots maybe a couple other Blue Cindy's in love with glue dots. She I am, I am. gets them in so many crafts. So just go out and buy a bunch of glue dots. I was mm -hmm. not, I did not have them. So I'm using tape today. Again, we're improvising, but glue dots, if you oh, have them. Glue would probably work too, if you had yeah. wanted to use that. But so, so what you're going to do, you're going to start this craft with your 24 inch piece of wire. You're going to coil the end just a little bit like this. All right. And this, this is going to keep the, um, beads from falling off and then it's also going to give you a surface to put a glue dot on so you can attach oh, and it Cindy, with the when you're choosing these they need to be a little bit longer so you can just twist two together right yeah think yeah okay. yep 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 twist those together All and right. so now now you're just gonna string you're gonna put your beads onto this 
Um, I like putting them in a little in a little bowl. It's just easier than picking up a bead and threading it. I just stick the wire into the bowl and it captures a bead. Yeah. So, um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this. I have chosen uh, colors that would be great for Valentine's Day. And I went in. I, I think I, I was specifically trying to go with uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming. Although I will say, I feel like it feels a little Christmassy, but you could always add, like Cindy said, like beads, maybe with like shamrocks and things to make them even more based on the holiday you're going with if you're choosing that way. Um, yeah. But yeah. Or you so, can use it for, for both uh, St. Patrick's and then bring them back out for the holiday. Cause I mean, that's right. And you know, I will say after um, deciding to do, to do those presentation using pipe cleaners, I've realized how beautiful it is that they do, the beads, if you're using pony beads, they don't slide off. So that's- I feel like it does maybe reduce- it, Yes, Cindy, some I was frustration. Yeah. I feel like, uh, what was, were you we saying? Failure free. I mean, because yeah. can you imagine you have the wire, if you need, you know, and you can obviously, and once you put them off. on, you can you can arrange them once they're on here. That'd be terrible. Um, yeah, but like so, once they're once they're on here, you can arrange them however you want. But while you're, you don't want to forget to coil them. the other end just in case. Coil the other end after you get your beads on because you want to make sure because you know they still could maybe fall off if you push them. So now yeah. you're gonna put um, a little. You're gonna put a glue dot on one of the coils. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And then all you're gonna do is attach it to your jar and just do some wrapping, wrap it around. And you know, this is where it just all kind of depends. If you use heavier beads, you might need to put a few glue dots as you're coiling to keep things supported. Um, like I said, it all just sort of depends on uh, the materials you're using. So I, have, oh, there I am. So I just coiled that. Hang on, I'm gonna get my other glue dot on that last coiled piece of my, uh, there we go, of my pipe cleaner. And then, look, isn't that cute? Could you imagine, like this is, and it's so fast. It's like another really pretty fast one, but I like the fact that, let's say I wanna have this on my ledge, ledge decor. Yeah. yeah, look at that. So cute. Um, you put your light in, of course. And, but, you know, and mine's for like Valentine's Day. Well, then for March, I could take off the pipe cleaner, remove the beads, save them, don't throw them away. And maybe I want to do Aaron's version and I'll replace this with green and gold. So you know that would be really cute. With yours, Cindy, I just thought of this. You could fill the bottom with candy hearts and and put it on top of candy hearts. You could totally, you know what else I did? I did one where I just filled it with beads. I used the spoon. And to and me, that's a cool sensory thing. You hear them splashing in, right? right? And you could do layers of colors and just set. So it's kind of the same idea using yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, I love that. You could also swap Anyways. out those beads for buttons. You know, and once again, I feel like, I, can you hear this? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, the whole thing, yeah, was that obnoxious? <laughs> was no, 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 I didn't hear, it wasn't like, it wasn't you're overwhelming. Right. You're, so you're good, you're good. <laughs> but you know, like this, this, that's a lot. Like this, these were all my grandma's beads, or uh, buttons, but you could actually use buttons on the uh, wire too, if you wanted to. So, and if somebody's uh, not quite ready to like try the activity, they could sort the buttons, like could team up and like one could sort the buttons into colors and shapes or whatever. And then the other one can string it for exactly. them, team effort them. Really quick, did I did I show you what you can do with the foil lid that comes off of these? Oh, did I show you? I, I, so you can clean these and they're foil and I flattened mine and I used a Sharpie marker and I drew a design and it could become like a little ornament. So there's like another craft that you can create from one jar of wee yogurt. Yeah. And look, parts for Valentine's Day. So, uh, yeah, I think, did I cover it all? Did I, did I cover all that? I think we have about, um, 
I don't know, nine minutes left. Is there, and, uh, maybe there are questions for this one though. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Elisa? Yes, we do have a few questions. Okay. Um, of course, a lot of people were feeling your pain when you were giving us the lecture on the right scissors to use because they have that, they deal with that. Somebody said, and you'll get a kick out of this one, Cindy, somebody mm. used her quilting rotary cutter to slice pizza. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> so I, you never, I mean, I appreciate someone's ingenuity, yes, but also yeah. in order to keep our supplies lasting. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Well, I will tell you, I have old scissors that are just, these were actually mine when I was a kid. And I I call them crabby because they don't, they don't cut paper very well. They're awful, but boy, now that they're crabby, they're perfect for cutting wire, you know? So you could still kind of give a little more life to a really bad yeah. pair of scissors, but mark it. So, so everyone yeah. knows. We did get, and I was just wondering, cause I know this is probably a really challenging question. Cause as I was reading it, I'm like, well, you know, uh, crafts are this do you have any ideas for like clutter free craft projects because sometimes family members complain about things being quote junky even though they're not but they're like taking you know up space in the room so i don't know if your website does have any of those ideas on there that people could look at that are clutter free yeah you know we try to have crafts that have a use you know yeah. like i feel like the lights kind of have a use, you know, you they, they produce light, like it could be a nightlight. Um, but I agree, like you don't want just a bunch of, you know, I, I think back to when my kids were really young, like what do you do with all this stuff that they bring home from school, right? Like yeah. kind of the same thing. So, um, but I this is where, once again, I'm gonna go back as an example. Yes, you have just made this, yes, it sits around, but it has a purpose and you can change it per season. So it's not like, it's a one-time decoration you can yeah. give it a little more life like maybe that's a way to make it and a we, little less we also have those door decor crafts that i feel like you know yes we're gonna swap them out and and make new ones but like they're fun they 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 you know kind of liven up the place you know and how you can hang them on everybody's door and i love that you know oh go ahead no i was just gonna say somebody else said clutter Clutter crafts, the question, I'm using the air quotes, sorry, you couldn't see me do that, can always be dining room centerpieces or displayed in the building and eventually take them down and reuse. And then somebody else said that they just had those exact jars you were using, somebody just donated them to them, so now they have a project for it. So it's Yay! all of these, I like that cycle re-up, reuse, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, that's the thing, a lot, I, I will say, Cindy is so good about trying to find ways to use one item a thousand ways i know like over the last summer she had more ways to use a pool noodle than <laughs> i think the internet so i mean really like she's always you know and it was like you could get one like i think it was like four it was a bunch of you could get multiple crafts out of one pool noodle oh yeah one and i still have some pool noodle left over that i'll probably be so using for this i summer. feel like we do really act try very hard to make it so that you can buy something and reuse it a million ways and upcycle and take things that again yogurt that you're already eating let's reuse it so it's not it doesn't feel quite as disposable to me because you're just you're upcycling you're having fun with it and yeah eventually it was going to end up in recycling anyway eventually you and can throw out the glass but and sometimes it's just the process you know it's just it's the process that's the most important part, not the finished yeah. product. So if the finished product is clutter, at least somebody had the process and they were able to sort through the buttons and have a sensory moment. And, yeah. you know, so sometimes the process is a little more important than worrying it's, about the clutter. It's the journey, not the destination. Yes, there you go. <laughs> and this is another idea too that somebody shares. We, we do crafting for a cause. So if they don't want to keep the craft, then they can donate it and we'll sell it at our craft fair. So yes, I think that's craft fair. Really that's, I was, I was, I do, just, we thought always of, like, oh, that. There's, you know, sell them, you know, like mm -hmm. family members. I mean, you, you know, like sometimes it's just, it's a great gift at a different holiday, you know, or, I mean, or you have people, you make them and then you have people make a kit that they sell. So you huh? can have a kit of the jar with the parts and pieces, the beads, the tea light, and, it, and then 
it's that, oh, sorry, it's assembled awesome. by the, the purchaser. Yeah, awesome. That's great. So yeah, and somebody else suggested that with the craft fair idea. Well, we have our winners now. We've, re you know, I think it's important now we need to share who our winners are. So we're okay. super excited, but I wanted to say, first of all, thank you, Cindy and Aaron. This, I have enjoyed this. I think you ladies did a fabulous job in explaining how each craft works. And as coming from a non-crafty person, I do, I do gr agree that craft, crafting is an important aspect of everybody's journey in life. And so thank you so much for sharing your time and talents with us on that. And so we'll get to the winners now. So let me just get a minute here and we'll we'll start that out. Yay for winners. Yay. <laughs> we, love, we love winners. So great. So our four winners, so hopefully you are still present to win because you do need to be present. So if your name is announced, please use the question box to add in your email address and we will send you an email notification on how to claim your prize. So again, our prize today is a three month membership to Activity Connection, and we have four winners to select. So our first winner is Kim Uzoni. So congratulations to Kim Uzoni. So if you're still on Kim, please make sure you add your email address into the question it's box. Like at a concert. I'm yes, we're at a concert, right. And our next winner is Linda Spikes. So congratulations to Linda. Linda, if you are in here, please make sure you add your email address to the question box. It looks like a question mark, so we ask you to do that. Um, our next winner is, I want to be sure they're still on, that's before I, Phyllis Phillips. So congratulations, Phyllis. You are the winner as well of an activity uh, connection membership for three months. And then our last winner is Tally Swenson. So congratulations, everybody. These are our winners. Yay. So again, Kim Uzoni, uh, Linda Spikes, Phyllis Phillips, and then Tally Swenson. So congratulations, everybody, for being That's the winners. Awesome. And we are really grateful to Activity Connection and our partnership with you. And so thank you so much for your time today. This was a lot of fun. And hopefully everybody else had fun. Everybody is saying they did. So I think that's important, you know, that we all had a good time <laughs> today. So oh, good. Yay. Yeah, and thank, thank you. Thank you for allowing thank us you. this new platform. So we appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. you. This was awesome. All right. So get Kim, Yuzoni, Linda Spikes, and Phyllis Phillips and Tally Swimson. Stay on just a little bit longer and we will explain to you how to claim your prize. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'm also staying on to get notes for the badges. Oh, right. Oh, are we out? I don't hear Elisa anymore. Yeah, you're still here. I muted oh, okay. myself for the mistake. Sorry. I'm just looking for email addresses. So yeah, we're still on. So all is good. So. I'm just getting email addresses real quick. And then I'll give you those spikes, or not those spikes, the badges. <laughs> I was typing in Linda Spikes email address when I said I, that. <laughs> you can send me spikes. Spike I'm sure badges. I'll find a use. <laughs> <laughs> We're really crafty. We'll, we'll use spikes, spikes in our next in our next tutorial. Spikes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Are we done being recorded? Yeah, we're done being recorded, yes. Okay. You are I good. dropped a, a bingo dauber with that. I dropped I dropped several. I ha only had to pick up I had to pick up the one thing. I it was like, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I think people had fun. I don't know. Oh, I had they fun. did. They I think I had a great time. And like I said, I'm not a crafty person, so therefore <laughs> that's good to hear. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. I loved I loved all the comments. Oh my gosh, that was my favorite part. I was like super excited to hear. You know, I just I do miss the field. I I have to go volunteer more because um it's it's so lovely to hear, you know, how people are using them in different ways. Um you know, and even ways that I might have used them myself, but like, you know, it's been a minute and you know, it's really fun. Awesome. I have okay. not seen the chat at all by the way this entire time. Oh, so that's yeah, it's just under the questions. There was we don't do oh, okay. so it's 
like Zoom where there's like this continue, people are just oh, talking, I see. Away, I see. but people are able to do the questions here. So that was where um, I got some of that. Um, let's see, somebody oh. said painting. So a painting one, an exercise one and a bingo one. <laughs> Hold on, painting, exercise, bingo. Hold on. Yep. I can't promise that I'll be in June, but I can try. No. Painting, bingo, exercise. Ex what was the one? And the science one. Did you get the science one too? Yeah, so that just the four? Yeah, that was science. just the four. Okay. Somebody Actually, also suggested they would like to see more trivia. Who, what, and where trivias? Who, what, where am I? Yeah, yeah, the W's. Actually, one of our W's this one, uh, I was going to mention, but we totally didn't have time. I wanted to mention that one of our W's is on 1999 because it was our anniversary and that's when we were founded. Um, yeah. And it's actually a really great W. Um, so yeah, but there's yeah, only so much time. <laughs> yep, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, and we're still live. I mean, there's still like 60 people watching us talk. But that's okay, oh. they can enjoy oh. it. <laughs> Hello. And, and <laughs> Welcome to the unedited, unrecorded version of our talk. Okay. <laughs> Connection raw. They're the people that are, they are living a FOMO life. You know, they just can't exit yet. So that's okay. <laughs> but well, we, I, I wanted to make sure I had them written down. Uh, so for those 60 people, I will get these eventually in. Um, it just might not all make it to the June. Because the thing is, I try to make it, if you look further into, since I'm here and we're here, the elder scouts um, have categories. So I try to make it really like diverse in terms of badges they could earn. So it's actually color coded. So painting would be under, I think, red. So that's the red, one of the red. So music was one of the artsy ones for this month. Um, so I'll do painting for next time. Um, exercise would be in its own color. So that's why there's, you know, I try to make it really varied when I make badges so that people get you know, people like different things, you know, so. Absolutely. Somebody yeah. else mentioned it now because, you know, they know we're still chatting here. So somebody just said they like the sorry bingo cards and they would like to have more in colored and shaded colors if possible. <laughs> bingo. Oh, that's great. This is a good one. If so, if people are still on. They save the plastic clean measure cups from very large detergents and let the residents use those to rinse their paintbrushes in. I love that. Perfect. I love that. Yeah. Wait, so you said sorry bingo cards. Um, yeah. You wanted them I shaded? I'm guessing shaded and printed. Or, uh, uh, let me go back here. I just saw it. Shaded and or colored. Or colored. Okay. I can't promise, but I will pass these ideas and suggestions along because we always enjoy more suggestions. That's why I like to write them down. So. And Brooke says, great job. She says your coworker. <laughs> Do you know for everyone that's still on, what I am so impressed about is that Brooke was also an activity professional. Like so many of the people that work at Activity Connection were actually activity professionals, so they really know what they're talking about. Yeah, if you add, we did, we mm -hmm. I don't I think at one point they did the math, and if you added all of our years together, we have hundred like over uh I think it's over a hundred years. I think like between Nancy who founded the company, uh our owner you know our owner who founded the company, Nancy worked in the field, Brooke, Danielle, myself, Dawn, Dawn worked in the field. I used to joke, Dawn's worked in the field since she was like little because she broke her leg and her mom worked in as a nurse at a at a retirement community and so her dad brought her in because she didn't know what to do with her and her broken leg and i said she just stayed and she just you know was there the whole time you know she's she's been working with activities and seniors like i think you know for decades because she was brought in at six and just never left <laughs> yeah don was on earlier she's left but nancy also nancy was also on and she just said great job for me too she says <laughs> oh, <good>. Hi, nancy. <laughs> awesome well I've got, I've got the winners i will send those to carrie is that the right person to send those names to carrie to follow up i think so um but you know yeah, what I, yeah send send to send to cindy Include we'll figure it out carrie and, and send it to all of us um, okay. And we'll make sure, Aaron, just in case Carrie and, Carrie, and then we'll make sure it gets directed to the right yeah. place. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll make sure we do that then, because I've got their email addresses for the winners, so um, um, we'll get that taken care of then. Awesome. Thanks, What's ladies. Up? This was great. this was yeah. awesome.
You did it. I'll share the YouTube link once it's done processing. Great. Thank you so much. You were awesome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye.